Welcome back to the audio bookshelf. We hope you enjoy the book and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get our latest content. Please enjoy. These 14 Buddhist resolutions are a must, presented by Theo E. David from the audio bookshelf. Introduction As we stand on the brink of a new chapter, let's kickstart our journey with the inspiring words of Gautama Buddha. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. With this wisdom echoing in our hearts, we embark on a voyage of self-discovery and spiritual evolution in the year ahead. Today, we present these 14 Buddhist resolutions are a must, a compass to guide us towards a mindful, compassionate, and enlightened existence. Beyond mere resolutions, these principles aim to transform our minds and souls. So, let's dive into the reservoir of ancient wisdom and set the tone for a new year filled with self-discovery and spiritual awakening. Welcome to a journey of growth and enlightenment. Resolution 1. Cultivate Mindfulness Imagine mindfulness as a journey into being fully present in each moment. Inspired by the teachings of Gautama Buddha, mindfulness is not just about being aware, it's about fully engaging with what's happening around us without getting caught up in thoughts or distractions. Picture your breath as a guide, helping you connect with the now. By paying attention to your breath, you create a link between the world around you and your inner self. It's like a moment of calm in the middle of a busy day. Taking a few minutes for quiet sitting, just observing your thoughts without getting too caught up in them strengthens this connection and brings a sense of peace. But mindfulness isn't just for quiet moments, it's like a companion throughout your day. Take eating, for example, instead of rushing through a meal, really taste and appreciate each bite. Walking becomes a chance to feel the ground beneath your feet, and even washing dishes can turn into a calming ritual. In our tech-filled world, mindfulness asks for a break from screens now and then. Less time on phones and more moments of quiet let you reconnect with yourself, and the benefits are clear, stress levels drop, thinking becomes clearer, and your emotions find balance. Of course, there are challenges, like a mind that loves to wander, but the trick is to notice it without judging yourself and gently bring your attention back to what's happening right now. So, as we step into Resolution 1, let's think of mindfulness not as a big commitment, but as a simple shift in how we approach each day. May it become a part of our daily life, leading to a year filled with more awareness, emotional strength, and a deeper connection to the world around us. Resolution 2. Practice Loving Kindness Inspired by the teachings of Gautama Buddha, this resolution invites us to embrace the beautiful concept of metta, or loving kindness. It's not just about being nice, it's about cultivating genuine compassion and goodwill, not only towards others, but also towards ourselves. Think of loving-kindness as a warm glow that radiates from your heart. It's an intention to wish well for all beings, including yourself. Gautama Buddha highlighted the importance of this practice, acknowledging that our thoughts and intentions shape our reality. So, how do we put loving-kindness into action? It begins with recognizing the interconnectedness of all living things. Just as you desire happiness and freedom from suffering, so do others. Through simple phrases or affirmations, you can send out positive vibes, wishing happiness, health, and peace to yourself and extending those wishes to those around you. Practicing loving-kindness isn't confined to meditation, it's a way of being in the world. Picture a ripple effect. The kindness you show to yourself and others creates positive energy that extends far beyond the moment. It's smiling at a stranger, offering a helping hand, or simply being patient in a challenging situation. But, of course, it starts with self-compassion. Often, we are our own harshest critics. Loving-kindness encourages us to treat ourselves with the same warmth and care we offer to others. It's a powerful antidote to self-criticism and negative self-talk. In a world that can sometimes feel indifferent, Resolution 2 challenges us to be a beacon of love and compassion. As we step into the practice of loving-kindness, may it not only transform our relationships, but also create a ripple of positive energy that touches the lives of those around us. May this resolution be a reminder that in cultivating love and kindness, we contribute to a more compassionate and harmonious world. Resolution 3. Embrace Impermanence 
the profound concept of embracing impermanence, rooted in the teachings of Gautama Buddha, encourages us to understand and accept the nature of impermanence, known as Anicca. Imagine life as a river, ever-flowing and constantly changing. Impermanence reminds us that nothing in this world is permanent, everything is in a state of flux. Instead of resisting change, this resolution invites us to embrace it with open hearts and minds. Picture a beautiful flower, it blooms, displays its vibrant colors, and eventually withers away. This cycle is a metaphor for our lives. Embracing impermanence doesn't mean avoiding attachments or not enjoying life's beauty. Instead, it's an invitation to appreciate the fleeting nature of experiences and relationships. In practical terms, Resolution 3 prompts us to let go of our grip on the illusion of permanence. Whether it's the changing seasons, the phases of the moon, or the rhythm of our breath, impermanence surrounds us. By acknowledging this reality, we free ourselves from the anxiety that often accompanies change. Consider a challenging situation, rather than resisting or fearing it, embracing impermanence allows us to recognize that difficulties, like everything else, are temporary. This perspective fosters resilience and an ability to navigate life's ups and downs with grace. Impermanence is not a call to live in constant anticipation of loss, rather, it's an invitation to be fully present in each moment. It encourages us to appreciate the beauty of now, knowing that it's a fleeting gift. The more we embrace impermanence, the more we can live authentically, savoring the richness of every experience. As we embark on Resolution 3, let it be a reminder that change is not the enemy but a constant companion on the journey of life. May we, like the river, flow gracefully with the currents of impermanence, finding joy and wisdom in every twist and turn. May this resolution be a gateway to a life lived fully, appreciating the beauty in every fleeting moment. Resolution 4. Commit to Right Speech Echoing the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha, right speech is not merely about choosing the right words. It involves the mindful use of language to foster understanding, harmony, and compassion. Consider your words as seeds planted in the hearts of others. Right speech encourages us to sow seeds of kindness, truth, and encouragement. It's a recognition that our words hold the power to uplift or wound, to build bridges or create barriers. This resolution challenges us to be aware of three key aspects of speech, truthfulness, kindness, and avoiding harm. Truthfulness, right speech begins with honesty. It urges us to speak the truth with clarity and sincerity. This doesn't mean being brutally blunt. Rather, it encourages a thoughtful and compassionate expression of the truth. Kindness, infusing our words with kindness is at the heart of this resolution. Instead of contributing to negativity, we strive to speak words that bring joy, comfort, and support. It's a conscious choice to be a source of encouragement in the lives of others. Avoiding harm, right speech prompts us to refrain from speech that causes harm, whether through lies, gossip, or harsh words. It's a commitment to create a space where communication builds bridges and understanding. Practicing right speech isn't just about talking, it extends to the way we listen. Mindful listening, with an open heart and without judgment, complements our commitment to right speech. It's an acknowledgement that communication is a two-way street and that our words should foster understanding rather than division. Think of a situation where a well-chosen word could diffuse tension or offer comfort. Right speech is the art of recognizing those opportunities and responding with wisdom and compassion. It's not always about saying everything we think, but discerning the right time and manner to express ourselves. As we step into Resolution 4, let it be a reminder that our words have a ripple effect, influencing not only others, but also shaping our inner world. May we embrace the power of right speech to create a space where our words become a source of harmony, understanding, and compassion. Resolution 5. Develop Generosity Inspired by the teachings of Gautama Buddha, the transformative practice of developing generosity, or dana, goes beyond the act of giving. It's a way of cultivating an open-hearted and selfless spirit. Imagine generosity as a river that flows freely, nourishing everything in its path. This resolution encourages us to embrace the joy of giving without expectation, fostering a mindset that understands the interconnectedness of all beings. 
Generosity is not solely about material possessions. It extends to our time, attention, and kindness. It's the understanding that even the smallest acts of generosity can have a profound impact on others and, in turn, on ourselves. Practicing generosity is akin to planting seeds of kindness. As we give, we contribute to a positive and harmonious world. Whether it's a helping hand to someone in need, a kind word to lift someone's spirits, or a simple act of sharing, each gesture becomes a step on the path of generosity. This resolution also invites us to examine our relationship with material possessions. It encourages a mindful approach to our belongings, recognizing that they are resources that can be shared to bring joy and benefit to others. By letting go of attachment to material things, we create space for a deeper sense of contentment and connection. Moreover, generosity is not limited by our circumstances. Regardless of our current situation, we can find opportunities to give, whether through a smile, a listening ear, or a gesture of goodwill. The practice of generosity becomes a source of joy, reminding us that the act of giving is, in itself, a gift. Resolution 6 Foster Contentment Echoing the wisdom of Gautama Buddha, the principle of fostering contentment, or santasha, is not about settling for less, it's a profound recognition and appreciation for what is. Imagine contentment as a gentle stream that flows within, unaffected by external tides. This resolution invites us to explore a state of inner satisfaction, irrespective of external circumstances. It's a shift from the constant striving for more towards finding peace in the present moment. Contentment is not a passive acceptance of circumstances, but an active engagement with life. It's about recognizing and cherishing the blessings we have, whether they are relationships, experiences, or the simple joys of everyday life. In a world that often encourages a relentless pursuit of success, Resolution 6 encourages us to find fulfillment in the journey, not just the destination. The practice of contentment involves cultivating gratitude. Instead of focusing on what we lack, it invites us to celebrate what we have. Gratitude becomes a powerful tool, helping us shift our perspective from scarcity to abundance. Whether it's a moment of quiet reflection or a conscious acknowledgement of the positive aspects of our lives, contentment grows from the soil of gratitude. This resolution also invites us to examine the nature of desire. While ambition and goals are natural aspects of life, contentment encourages us to discern between healthy aspirations and insatiable desires. It's an exploration of finding balance, pursuing dreams without allowing them to overshadow the appreciation for what is already present. Contentment is a journey, not a destination. It's an ongoing practice of being present, embracing life with an open heart, and finding joy in the simple pleasures. As we embark on Resolution 6, may it be a voyage into the heart of contentment, where each moment becomes an opportunity to discover the richness of a fulfilled life. May we learn to dance with the rhythm of contentment, finding beauty and satisfaction in the tapestry of our everyday experiences. Resolution 7. Practice Patience Inspired by the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha, patience, or kanti, is not merely the ability to endure. It's a deep and mindful understanding that unfolds as we navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Imagine patience as a sturdy tree, its roots grounded in tranquility, weathering the storms without losing its strength. This resolution invites us to embrace the ebb and flow of life, recognizing that not everything happens according to our timeline. Patience is not passive acceptance, it's an active engagement with the present moment. It encourages us to navigate setbacks, delays, and uncertainties with a calm and composed spirit. In a world that often values immediacy, Resolution 7 invites us to slow down, breathe, and trust in the unfolding of life's journey. The practice of patience involves understanding the impermanence of all things. Instead of resisting change or demanding immediate results, it invites us to flow with the natural rhythm of life. Whether it's a career goal, a personal relationship, or a dream waiting to be realized, patience becomes the gentle current that guides us. This resolution also encourages self-reflection. By observing our reactions to challenging situations, we gain insights into our impulses and emotions. Patience is not about suppressing frustration, but acknowledging it and choosing a measured response. 
It's about cultivating a mind that remains steady even in the face of adversity. Furthermore, patience extends to our interactions with others. It's a recognition that everyone is on their own journey, facing their unique challenges. By practicing patience, we create space for understanding, empathy, and compassion in our relationships. Resolution 8. Cultivate Concentration Inspired by the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha, the transformative commitment to cultivating concentration, or samadhi, is not just about focusing the mind. It's a profound journey into developing a calm and one-pointed focus that leads to deeper insights and self-discovery. Imagine concentration as a serene lake, its waters undisturbed by the ripples of distraction. This resolution invites us to cultivate a mind that can rest in the present moment, undistracted by the constant chatter of thoughts. Concentration involves training the mind to focus on a single point, whether it's the breath during meditation, a specific task, or the sensations in the body. It's not about forcing the mind into submission, but gently guiding it towards a state of quiet attentiveness. The practice of concentration extends beyond formal meditation. It's about being fully present in whatever we do, whether it's reading a book, engaging in a conversation, or completing a task. In a world filled with distractions, Resolution 8 encourages us to reclaim the power of sustained focus, unlocking a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. This resolution also invites us to explore the nature of our attention. By observing the mind's tendencies to wander and gently redirecting it, we develop greater mastery over our thoughts. Concentration becomes a tool for cultivating a clear and tranquil mind, free from the tumult of constant mental chatter. Moreover, concentration is a gateway to mindfulness and insight. As we deepen our ability to concentrate, we open the door to profound states of awareness and understanding. It's a journey that leads to insights into the nature of our thoughts, emotions, and the essence of our being. Resolution 9. Live Ethically Inspired by the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha, ethical living, or sila, is not just about adhering to a set of rules, it's the deep and mindful commitment to a way of life that fosters harmony, compassion, and wisdom. Imagine ethical living as a clear stream, its waters reflecting the purity of our intentions and actions. Resolution 9 invites us to navigate the complexities of life with a moral compass, choosing a path that aligns with the principles of compassion and integrity. Ethical living involves understanding and embodying the five precepts, guidelines that encourage us to abstain from harming living beings, taking what is not given, engaging in sexual misconduct, speaking untruths, and consuming substances that cloud the mind. These precepts form the foundation of sila, guiding us towards a life rooted in virtue and compassion. The practice of ethical living extends beyond the avoidance of negative actions. It's about actively cultivating positive qualities. It's a commitment to kindness, generosity, and honesty in our interactions with others. In a world that sometimes seems to reward unethical behavior, Resolution 9 encourages us to stand firm in our commitment to what is right. This resolution also invites us to reflect on the consequences of our actions. By cultivating awareness of the impact of our choices on ourselves and others, we develop a sense of responsibility. Ethical living becomes a journey into understanding the interconnectedness of all beings and our shared responsibility for the well-being of the world. Moreover, ethical living is a foundation for spiritual growth. As we align our actions with our values, we create fertile ground for the blossoming of wisdom and compassion. It's a journey that leads to a deep sense of inner peace and a harmonious relationship with the world around us. Resolution 10. Seek Wisdom Inspired by the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha, the pursuit of wisdom, or prajna, is not a mere accumulation of knowledge. It's a transformative journey into understanding the nature of reality and the path to true insight. Imagine wisdom as a guiding light, illuminating the path to deeper understanding. Resolution 10 invites us to embark on a quest for knowledge that transcends the surface level, leading us towards profound insights that enrich our lives and the lives of others. Seeking wisdom involves a deep exploration of the Dharma, the teachings of the Buddha. It's an invitation to study, reflect, and internalize the principles that guide us towards a more enlightened way of living. 
It's not just about intellectual understanding, but a visceral and experiential realization of the truths that lead to liberation. This resolution encourages us to be discerning in our choices and actions. It involves questioning the nature of our perceptions, beliefs, and assumptions. As we seek wisdom, we learn to distinguish between what is fleeting and what is enduring, navigating the complexities of life with a clearer perspective. Moreover, the pursuit of wisdom involves self-inquiry. It's a journey into understanding the nature of our own minds, emotions, and the patterns that shape our experiences. Through meditation and introspection, we cultivate a depth of self-awareness that forms the bedrock of true wisdom. Wisdom is not an isolated pursuit, it's interwoven with compassion. As we seek to understand the nature of suffering and the causes of happiness, we naturally develop a heart that is attuned to the well-being of others. It's a journey that bridges the intellectual and the compassionate, leading to a holistic and transformative wisdom. Resolution 11. Let Go of Attachments Inspired by the teachings of Gautama Buddha, the practice of non-attachment, or Virajaya, is not about renouncing the world. It's a transformative journey into freeing ourselves from the clinging nature of desires and possessions. Imagine non-attachment as a gentle breeze, untithering us from the weight of attachments. Resolution 11 invites us to examine the nature of our attachments to people, possessions, and outcomes, and to cultivate a mindset that allows for freedom and inner peace. Non-attachment doesn't mean indifference or apathy. It's an invitation to engage with life fully while understanding the impermanence of all things. This resolution challenges us to reflect on the transient nature of possessions and relationships, recognizing that true joy comes from appreciating the present moment rather than fixating on an uncertain future. The practice of non-attachment involves letting go of the belief that external factors define our happiness. It's an acknowledgement that while possessions and relationships can bring temporary joy, true fulfillment arises from an inner sense of contentment and peace. By loosening our grip on external circumstances, we open ourselves to a profound sense of freedom. This resolution also encourages us to release attachments to outcomes. It's an understanding that life is inherently uncertain, and attaching our happiness to specific results can lead to disappointment and stress. Non-attachment invites us to work towards goals with dedication yet maintain equanimity in the face of success or failure. Moreover, non-attachment is a gateway to compassion. As we free ourselves from the need for personal gain or recognition, our actions become selfless and driven by a genuine desire to contribute to the well-being of others. It's a journey into understanding that the interconnectedness of all beings transcends individual desires. Resolution 12 practice gratitude. Drawing inspiration from the teachings of Gautama Buddha, the commitment to practice humility is not a passive quality. It's a transformative journey into embracing a modest and unpretentious way of being in the world. Imagine humility as a gentle breeze, quietly weaving through the fabric of our interactions, fostering a sense of equality and interconnectedness. Resolution 12 invites us to embody humility in our thoughts, actions, and relationships, creating a space for authentic connection and growth. Humility is not about self-deprecation or putting oneself down. It's a recognition of our shared humanity and an acknowledgement that every being, regardless of status or background, is deserving of respect and understanding. This resolution challenges us to release the ego's grip and approach others with an open heart and a willingness to learn from every encounter. The practice of humility involves deep self-awareness. It's a journey into understanding our strengths and limitations without the need for comparison or competition. By recognizing that we are all on a path of growth, humility becomes a catalyst for personal and collective development. This resolution also encourages a genuine appreciation for the contributions of others. It's an invitation to celebrate the successes of those around us without envy or resentment. Humility allows us to recognize that each person brings unique gifts and perspectives, contributing to the richness of our shared human experience. Moreover, humility is a bridge to compassion. As we let go of the need to be superior or infallible, we create a space for empathy and understanding. Humility becomes the foundation for authentic connections, fostering a sense of unity in a world that is often marked by division. Resolution 13. Commit to Self-Reflection 
Echoing the teachings of Gautama Buddha, the practice of compassion, or karuna, is not merely a passive feeling, it's a transformative journey into cultivating a deep sense of empathy and kindness towards all beings. Imagine compassion as a warm embrace, radiating from the heart and reaching out to touch the lives of others. Resolution 13 invites us to embody compassion in our thoughts, words, and actions, creating a ripple effect of love and understanding in the world. Compassion is not reserved for special occasions, it's a way of being in the world. This resolution challenges us to extend kindness not only to those close to us, but to all beings, irrespective of their backgrounds or circumstances. It's an understanding that, at the core, we share a common humanity that transcends differences. The practice of compassion involves actively alleviating the suffering of others. It's more than a feeling of sympathy, it's a call to action. Whether through small acts of kindness, lending a helping hand, or simply offering a listening ear, compassion becomes a tangible force that transforms the lives of those around us. This resolution also encourages self-compassion. It's an acknowledgement that in order to truly extend kindness to others, we must first cultivate a compassionate relationship with ourselves. Through self-care, forgiveness, and a gentle attitude towards our own imperfections, we create a wellspring of compassion that overflows to benefit others. Moreover, compassion is a powerful antidote to the challenges of the world. In the face of adversity, cruelty, or injustice, compassion becomes a guiding light. It's a refusal to respond to hatred with hatred, but instead to meet it with understanding and love. Resolution 14. Embrace Change Inspired by the teachings of Gautama Buddha, the commitment to embrace change with resilience is a profound practice. Change is an inherent part of life, and this resolution invites us to navigate its currents with a spirit that is flexible, resilient, and open to growth. Imagine embracing change as a flowing river, carrying with it the potential for renewal and transformation. Resolution 14 encourages us to cultivate an attitude that welcomes change as an opportunity for self-discovery, learning, and adaptation. This resolution challenges us to let go of resistance to change and instead to view it as a natural and inevitable aspect of our journey. By embracing change, we open ourselves to new possibilities, allowing the unfolding chapters of our lives to reveal unexpected beauty and wisdom. The practice of embracing change involves developing resilience. It's not about avoiding challenges, but about building the inner strength to face them with courage and grace. Like a bamboo that bends in the wind but remains rooted, this resolution encourages us to be supple in the face of life's twists and turns. Moreover, embracing change is a call to release attachments to the past or fears of the future. By living in the present moment and adapting to the ever-changing landscape of life, we free ourselves from the burden of unnecessary worries and regrets. That wraps up our exploration of these 14 transformative resolutions inspired by the wisdom of Gautama Buddha. As we navigate life's journey, may these resolutions be guiding lights, empowering you to live with mindfulness, compassion, and an open heart. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and also click the small bell icon to receive a notification every time a new free audiobook has arrived. Thanks again.